What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm back in the kitchen with another highly requested Chinese takeout recipe. Today I'm gonna show you how to make delicious beef and broccoli. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, you can't have beef and broccoli without the beef. And today we got this beautiful ribeye steak that we caught on sale at the local grocery store, but you can use sirloin or New York strip, really whatever steak cut you like. I bought a bunch of these when they were on sale and this came fresh out of the freezer for a night like tonight super easy guys all you need is a nice sharp knife and a cutting board you want to shave the steak nice and thin like you see right here if you don't eat beef then I'm not exactly sure why you clicked on beef and broccoli but I appreciate you anyway you could substitute this with chicken as well you would substitute the chicken breast in for the ribeye do the same exact recipe that I'm showing you right here shave it nice and thin just like this quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below so don't forget to check that out there we go we got our steak shaved nicely like you see right here we want it to be about a quarter inch thick or so something like this once we have it all prepped and ready we're going to add it to a mixing bowl and get some flavor in there for a marinade first things first we're going in with a little low sodium soy sauce followed by some sesame oil I'm also going to add a little bit of sherry wine to this recipe. It's optional, but we're going in with about two tablespoons of that. There we go. We got the sherry wine in there. We got some low sodium soy sauce, some sesame oil. We're also going to add some salt to this just to add a little bit more flavor. There's a pinch of baking soda in here as well, followed by some cornstarch. The baking soda is going to help break down the muscle fibers of the beef and make sure that it's nice and tender. And the cornstarch is going to add some texture and help thicken our sauce up a little bit later. What I really like about making these takeout recipes at home is one, you know exactly what's going into your food. And two, most of these ingredients are things that you already have around the house anyway. So you have the ability to enjoy your takeout favorites and eat a little bit healthier as well. We went ahead and added some kosher salt. You could also add a little MSG if you want a more authentic flavor profile. But if you don't think MSG is healthy, I Obviously, you can leave that out. Next, you want to get in there with your hands and really work that seasoning in. And then you just set that aside and allow the beef to marinate for a few minutes while we start on our sauce. In a mixing bowl, we're going in with some low sodium soy sauce and some dark soy sauce with a mushroom flavored soy sauce, followed by some oyster sauce. Don't worry, guys, it doesn't taste like oysters. It just adds a little umami. We're going to add a pinch of brown sugar to the party as well, followed by a tablespoon of garlic paste and one teaspoon of ginger paste. You can use the fresh stuff if you want to. There we go. Lots of flavor in this sauce. Going to add a nice deep, dark, and rich color to the beef. We're going to break out the whisk and mix to combine. You can taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as well. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Sauce is looking good. We're going to set that aside and prep our veggies. For this, I'm going to use broccolini. We also have some green and red onion. If you prefer broccoli, you can go ahead and use that. But today I'm using broccolini. I feel like it's a little bit tender and I just personally like it a little bit better than broccoli. But no big deal either way. So now we're going to prep our veggies. First things first, we're going to dice up the white and the green part of the green onion. We're using all of that. We're going to chop some into bigger pieces as well. I like to have a little bit of different shapes and sizes of the green onions. Then we're going to dice some nice and fine. That's going to be what we use for garnish. So we'll set that aside. But the other pieces are going right into our stir fry. Once we got the green onions prepped and out of the way, we'll set that aside and get to work on our red onion. This is optional, guys, but it does add a nice little bit of color, a little additional flavor. And I had a red onion sitting in the refrigerator. That's the message I want to deliver today. These recipes are perfect for when you want to clean out your fridge. If you've got some additional veggies laying around, feel free to throw them in your stir fry. There we go. We got about a half cup of red onion. And now we're to get started on prepping this broccolini. This is super easy to prep, guys. All you got to do is cut off some of that stem. It's optional. You could leave it on, but the bottom part of that's pretty fibrous and doesn't get quite as tender as the rest of it. So I like to cut a little bit of it off. We're going to save some of the stems to throw in our stir fry, though, like you see right here. There we go, nice and easy. And you just want to cut it into bite-sized pieces, something similar to about the strips that you made with the steak. You want everything to fit on the fork nicely, so that's kind of what I think about when I'm prepping these things. Bite-sized pieces all around. There we go, we got our broccolini prepped and ready. I'm going to show you guys the technique that I'm going to use to cook this. Super easy. We're just basically going to blanch it or add it to some boiling water with a pinch of salt like you see right here. Let that boil away for one to three minutes and then we'll remove it from that boiling water and then add it to some ice cold water. That's going to ensure the broccolini remains nice and vibrant in color, bright green, and begins to tenderize a little bit before it goes into the stir fry. So there we go. Like I said, after a few minutes in the jacuzzi, we're going to remove the broccolini from that hot boiling water and put it into some ice cold water to shock it. That's going to stop the cooking process as we discussed. 
and your broccoli needs to be nice and tender and beautiful. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. After a couple minutes in the ice bath, we're gonna go ahead and put that on some paper towels, allow that to drain. We don't wanna put any super wet broccolini into a hot skillet. Speaking of a hot skillet, we got our wok heated over medium high. We added a little avocado oil, and now we're going in with that marinated steak. We're gonna give that a little head start, let that start to cook a little bit. Some fond is gonna develop at the bottom of the wok that we'll get up later. We just wanna toss that around. Again, working over medium high heat at this point. We got tons of flavor in that steak, and then we got that sauce that we're gonna add here in a minute. Next, we're going in with the red and the green onion, and we just wanna give this a few minutes to cook down, let those onions get nice and tender along with the steak. We added a pinch more salt, always season as you go, taste as you go, and adjust the flavor to your preference. Give that a nice toss, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the broccolini that we drained on the paper towel. Mix that to combine as well, and then we're going in with that amazing sauce that we made earlier. That's really the star of the show that's gonna bring this beef and broccoli to life. There we go. Give that a toss, and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of beef stock as well, just to kind of deglaze the skillet a little bit. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite takeout food is, what other recipes you wanna see. We've already done fried rice, lo mein. We got the beef and broccoli, General Tso's chicken, sesame chicken, all of that's already on the YouTube channel, but let me know what else you wanna see. I'm adding to my list and we'll do some more good stuff for you guys. There we go, we're just gonna give that a nice toss. Once the broccolini's tender, the steak is cooked all the way through. We're just about done. We just gotta thicken this sauce up a little bit, bring that to a simmer, and then we're gonna make our slurry. For that, we just need about two to three tablespoons of water, and we're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch to that water, give that a good mix, and then we're gonna pour that into our sauce. Make sure that comes up to a boil, and then the sauce will start to thicken up beautifully like you see right here. And now, my friends, we're just about done. Only, the only thing left to do is plate this up, get ourselves a money shot and a taste test. Oh man, look at that. Say it with me guys, looking good. Time to go ahead and plate this up. I can't wait any longer. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. That my friends is a beautiful plate of beef and broccoli. I'm going down with a little bit of additional green onion cause why the hell not? Going in for the taste test, using the chopsticks. Oh man, this one's good. You guys have got to give this recipe a try. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.